there, my name is Amina Kaplan and I'm going to be directing The Royale. Why this play? Why now? Why not? It is totally time to move forward in theater like Cirque du Soleil, Stomp, and Blue Man Group have been doing this totally independent original theater for the past like 20 or so years and they have not had through lines or central characters that you can focus on. The Royale has that. So this play, in my opinion, is very progressive and it is something that I hope will attract new audiences to the theater and young audiences to the theater because of the way it integrates music with storytelling and dance. And let's face it, that's what draws crowds is music and dance and stories. It's time for us, the people who do physical theater, to add storytelling to what we do and the Royale is the perfect play to do that. One of my favorite moments in the play is when the sister arrives at the arena to stop her brother from boxing in this championship fight. What I love about the character is that she's kind of a catalyst for the whole story the entire time, even though you don't see her until about three quarters of the way through the play. You can feel her power, and I love all of this feminine energy inside of a male-dominated world. Um, there's three, or th uh, three guys, and then in comes this woman, and completely reshapes the way the end of the play goes. And uh, that is what I want to focus on, and I think it's a great turning point, an interesting turning point, and uh, I hope it will inspire young women and young men. And I just think it's a, just a wonderful way in which Marco has written the play and utilized feminine energy and feminine power, once again, inside of this male-dominated framework. I worked on the play as a choreographer in LA at uh, Center Theater Group, the Kirk Douglas Theater, and I loved every minute of it. I was really focused on creating a uh, dynamic visual component to the show and a rhythmic component to the show. So I was able to focus a lot on drilling the actors in terms of body percussion. This time I think that I'm going to do things differently in that I'm going to direct them as opposed to just choreographing them and I want to focus on relationships between characters. I think the cool rhythms are going to come anyway because that's just in there, it's in me, but to this for this production it's going to be about acting and what the actors bring and being dynamic on stage as well as being physical. Hopefully that made sense. People should see this play because it is the evolution of American theater. It is a perfect blend of storytelling and physicality, which is exactly where theater is going. People love to come to Cirque because the performers are doing things that you can't do at home. They're sweating right in front of you and they're performing these amazing feats. What's missing are the stories. What Royale has is that story that tugs at your heart, characters that you can relate to, people that you can get, in, get behind and invest in. And on top of it, we're gonna sprinkle some spectacle on top with the uh, music and the dance. And to me, that is the future of American theater. And lastly, on the subject of race, there's no doubt that this play is going to make people want to have conversations about race. Um, obviously, we still need to do that in our culture. It seems to be this one gigantic, you know, festering wound that we are unable to get rid of. It also seems that we are unable to stop seeing it as a binary thing, meaning it's a black-white thing. We always seem to think that we're the only two races on the planet, and we just keep going at it head to head. What I'm hoping is that the play will make the dialogue honest and frank, and will actually help us to change our perceptions about one another, because one of the major things that I see uh, with you know this racial scar that I'm talking about is that we don't evolve our opinions of one another. We still think of each other as like whatever stereotype it was from a hundred years ago and we we don't evolve our opinion to recognize the changes that both sides have made. Um, and hopefully this play will make people talk frankly and openly and about the way things have changed so that we can start to move more towards a uh, positive, um, more harmonious future. All right, so that's it. I'm Amina. I'm so excited and honored to come to Seattle and work with everyone. Um, hopefully it's gonna rock. I mean, I know it's gonna rock. You know, I'm just so super stoked and uh, can't wait to meet everyone and get started. All right, that's it.
That's it.